Light me up, don't you stop, cause tonight, it's on the line. Show me how, you get on down, close my eyes, take me for a ride. Welcome to our new vlog. We're relaunching our YouTube channel. We tried to do a couple of vlogs last year and they were a bit... Yeah. You tried. Editing was a bit... <laughs> so here we are. I thought it best if we include like a little intro to what's happening this weekend. Um, so we are going to do some interval training down the set, set aside. <laughs> Good start. Uh, down the set aside. Um, because... I want to enter the Stonely two-day event. Whoop, whoop. We are going out on our own because Trev has, um, if you followed Hannah's story on Instagram, Trev is now sound, so he's sort of, um, you've got his... Rehabil navicular, navicular under control. Navicular under control. He's back sound, but his behaviour's not quite right at the moment. You've kind of recognised that, haven't you? Yeah, he's been a bit grumpy. He's been a bit grumpy. Uh, so you had a... Uh, behaviorist yesterday um, yeah yesterday so we're doing some clicker training which is quite interesting clicker tra you when you think clicker training you think dogs yeah dogs <laughs> you know i have fret and hannah that i'm gonna click a track <laughs> so <laughs> that i can click a train hannah um yeah so clicker training and what have you found so far with it it's been pretty responsive it's, it's good to watch. Yeah. Uh, we have got a little clip that will be later on of how he's reacting to the clicker training. So if you've got a horse that behaviour is not quite right, obviously you've got to check out the soundness, make sure he's he fit, healthy. But if you've got something that you know that's not quite right, uh, you would recommend... Hannah, yeah, definitely. Well, recommend Hannah Donovan. Yeah, she's a behaviour specialist... Veterinary behaviourist. Um, behavioural specialist... She's a behaviourist specialist. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> and she's also veterinary qualified, isn't yeah. she? I wasn't there for the session, but you said it was insane. Yeah, it was Five really hours. I was ringing up. What's going on? What's going on? Tell me. And she's like, Beep. shut up. I'm busy. I'm busy, <laughs> Jess. So that's what's happening in Trev. So we're down to one horse at the moment until we get Trev happy. And then the four, ami four amigos will be back together. Um, Look how big my hand is. <laughs> oh, the four amigos will be... Shabby sausages. I know. Four amigos will be back together competing, which I cannot... I'm not even competing. Just hacking, loving life. Loving hacking life. life. Hacking life. <laughs> loving life and hacking. So, that's what we're doing. And at the moment, we'll just pop down to the feed store to pick up some treats and goodies that you need for Trev's training. clicker training. Then... I'm off to go and get my uh, hair blow dried, so I'll be syrup head. I can't wash it, which is grim. And tomorrow we're going to what's it called? Addington. No, I thought it was Attington. I thought it was Attington, but then never mind. We're going somewhere. I th Addington or Attington for cross country. We've got a lesson with David Britnell and Lauren, Lauren from Megatrons. That uh, from Megatron. <laughs> from Lauren from Adventures of Megatron with Megalicious is coming with us and another person I think but I don't know who they are who are you um yeah and that's pretty much it isn't it yeah so we're going to take you along for the ride we're going to show you exactly what we get up to and hopefully fingers crossed you enjoy this vlog and you subscribe because if you don't don't ever watch again no I'm joking Saturday morning I'm just with Banana taking the hay up to the horses she's obviously doing all the Back breaking work and I'm filming as you do. <laughs> Look at our mud! Harder woman! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. One, two, three. Massively <laughs> 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 that out. <laughs> 
Hannah's cutting her old carrots up for uh, Trev. She's trialing a new... Doing my pouch. Oh my God, you've actually got a pouch. How did I not know this? Let me see. Your secret. <laughs> Hannah just got a secret fanny pack. <laughs> oh my God, I love that. So um, Hannah's cut up these carrots for Trev because um, she's trying a new um, behavioural technique that she's had by a behavioural specialist, yeah? Yeah. And um, she needs carrots. Well, I need treats, but we've got to go to the feed store. So we're being basic bitches, <laughs> cutting up carrots until we get to the feed store. We've now got to do this. <laughs> so we've effectively got to get this wheelbarrow through all that mud. What's the verdict, Hannah? Is it going to happen? No. No. <laughs> Ever the optimist, that is Hannah. <laughs> That's all right, I've got the treat part. <laughs> yeah, That's how's that going to save us? Right, let's do this. Incoming. Oh my gosh, you just splattered me in mud. <laughs> yeah! Let's get some sun, baby, it's time to go You've all followed Hannah's story with Trev and he's back sound again Praise baby, S excuse me, what are you doing Sid? He's back um, sound again So Hannah, he's just trying to improve his happiness And has had a experienced behaviourist out And she's trialling this uh, new cutting edge technique which we can't all tell you about yet. <laughs> we don't. Okay, so you probably guessed. Hannah is clicker training. Um, Trev. And it seems to have really, well, not it seems to, it's having fantastic results. She's put, oh, look at that. It might be an idea at some point to actually do a vlog on Hannah and her clicker training. But yeah. Basically, the behaviourist came out and said that his behaviour is um, in relation to him being fearful. Right? Frustrated, yeah. no. Frustrated. So, um, we're just trying to um, get him back into a happy place. And Hannah is clicker training. So, she can't use, like, negative connotations. Is that the word? You can't use negative connotations. She's got to be really positive. When he does something good, he gets a tree and a carrot basically it's being naughty the foot perfect monkey Sid's now got some friends. Oh, look, the cows go up to Percy. Oh, yeah. Hey. In the beat is hypnotizing. Oh, no, we run the show. Let's get loud.
What are we going for today, Han? Oh my god. We doing cheap and cheerful, right? No, I need like something that's like molasses, so it's really like nice for him. So really like, sweet. Yeah. So I don't want unmolasses. I want it to be like. Okay, so we're not going molasses free. No. Everything's got to have sweet chilli on it. Are you normal mayo? Or are you... Oh, oh, sure. There's a garlic mayo. Yeah. Best burger joint ever. Tasty treats. It's where me and Hannah get our usual Saturday little lunch snack. Morning guys, welcome to day two of the vlog. I'm at the lorry getting it ready because we are off for a cross country lesson at Attington. See, I finally said it right with David Britnell. I'm so excited for this. I've hardly slept a wink. 50% of it is because I'm absolutely pooing myself. And the other 50% is because I've never been to this venue before. I'm tired of jumping around Kiso and I'm looking forward to seeing some new fences. Whatever today will bring, it will certainly be educational. The lesson's not till one o'clock and the reason I'm down here so early at 7am is because Sid is in a desperate need of a bath. Where all the vents have cancelled, he is looking like an absolute swamp creature. He's grown a mohawk, his tail's grown out, he's got piss knuckles galore. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing this morning, sprucing him up, getting him ready for our lesson. I'll show you everything today and hopefully, hopefully I won't eat dirt, but who knows. Here we have the swamp creature in his full glory. We've got a serious amount of stains going on. A wild mane, piss knuckles galore, and a slightly bushy tail. You're about to see him transformed into the beautiful butterfly that he is. Squiddles has been bathed. Looking fresh. So um, today's cross country schooling session was not what I was hoping for. Um, we started off absolutely fine and um, Sid was going really, really well. We had a log that we had to pop over and then turn quite a sharp right, effectively up a, um, a, sl a slope. Um, I took the right hand turn, it was sharp and Sid, lo Sid lost his footing and um, he went down and we had a rotation full. Now it's just a pure freak accident. Um, we weren't jumping, we were literally on the flat. We're both fine, both got up. I think I was just really shocked at the time. Um, I juggernauted the old um, surface and poor Sid did everything he could to make sure he didn't land on me. And I guess that's probably what shocked me the most is watching the video back and seeing what he did to try and make sure he didn't land on me. Potentially, I don't know how he didn't break his neck. Um, makes me really emotional thinking about it, but um, we're back at the yard. He settled in, he's been in the school, he's gone for a roll and I'm having an emergency physio session now, just waiting for her to arrive. But I wanted to keep up his, you know, horses are real highs and lows, 100%. You know, yesterday we're galloping across the stubble field living our best life and then today i'm juggernaut in the sand with my horse nearly yeah can't even begin to comprehend but we're okay we live to fight another day and he's home safe too sore yeah i kept them over for like cuts and yeah i didn't see and there seemed to be no swelling 
During our cross country session yesterday, about 10 minutes in, unfortunately, after a fence, Sid lost his footing. Well, it was actually quite a bit after a fence. Sid lost his footing and he um, he did trip. We had a rotational fall, unfortunately. That's our first ever one and hopefully it will be our last. It was the single most scariest moment for me. Um, I hate watching it back and I decided not to include it in the vlog because it's not very nice to watch. Um, not because I'm bothered about what happened to me, but watching Sid struggle was really, really hard and it hit me. Not me for six yesterday, actually. But he had emergency physio last night and he's back. He's absolutely fine. He's off games for a week just to make sure he's, you know, all over, fighting fit and sound. But I wanted to come on here and tell you that we got knocked down but we'll be back better than ever stronger than ever and really positive thanks for watching guys